Hey everybody, this is the Apple reseller here, back with another video. Today I want to do a video on whether if the iPod Classic is still worth it. Now we're going to be talking about the 6th gen iPod Classic specifically, but this could also apply to older iPod Classic. So let's start off with a little background about this iPod Classic. This iPod Classic came out back in September of 2007. So that's pretty much 10 years ago and Apple released an 80 gigabyte and a thicker 160 gigabyte model. Now I have the 80 gigabyte here as you can see. This is an 80 gigabyte iPod. They also released a 160 gigabyte but that one is a little thicker than the 80 gigabyte. And then the next year in 2008 they released the 120 gigabyte iPod Classic and discontinued the 80 and the 160 and then in 2009 they updated the 120 gigabyte iPod back to the 160 gigabyte iPod in the same thin thickness. So let's look at what this iPod can still do today. As you can see this is the 6th generation iPod Classic since it has that split view with the menus on the left and the previews on the right. So let's start off with the most obvious one, music. This device was meant for music. It has 80 gigabytes of storage and there's a 120 gigabyte model and a 160 gigabyte model as well. So you, it was meant to store like tons and tons of songs like the 160 gigabyte iPod can store 40,000 songs according to Apple. So that's a lot of music and not many people store that much music on their phone. So beside music, you also got video. So if you want to load in movies, TV show, or pretty much any video, you could still watch it on this iPod. However, it's not going to be that good of a experience because the screen is kind of small. This is a 2.5 inch screen. so. It's kind of small and you're better off watching videos on like a smartphone or like a tablet because the screen is bigger. But you could load video into this iPod if you like. So you also get photo which you can load in any photo you want and pretty much you can view the photos on the go. And then you also got podcast which is you have to sync it from iTunes, obviously, just like all the music and videos and photos. And then with the 6th generation iPod Classic, you also get some extra stuff. You get a clock, so you can set a new new city and you can see what time is it there. You also get a calendar, which you can view the calendar as you can see here. You also get like to-do lists, but you have to sync those from iTunes. You can't add in anything from the iPod itself. You also got contact, but you have to sync those from your computer too. You can't, you can't add contact on the iPod itself. You also got alarms, so if you want to use this as an alarm clock, you could do that. And you also got a few games, but the games aren't like... They're not really that intensive, they're just, they're kind of simple, but I wouldn't say like you should buy this iPod for the game since it's nothing like the games you can play on the iPhone and iPad today or any smartphone. And you also got notes, but you have to sync those from, I, you have to sync those from iTunes and you can't just add a note from here and Screen lock basically set a passcode for your iPod and then you got a stopwatch. And then that's pretty much all you get on the iPod Classic. Now this is the latest iPod Classic. Well not this one but the 160 gigabyte version but it's technically the same design and the same generation as the 80 gigabyte that they first released. It still got that classic look. Classic look with the scroll wheel or the click wheel I mean and then the display 
no so no touch screen or anything like that but it looks kind of modern as in it has an aluminum front instead of the plastic front on the older iPods so that looks it's like a modern classic iPod if you want to call it that and then this iPod is also it doesn't have any wireless connectivity so no Bluetooth no Wi-Fi and obviously it's not a smart device so no App Store no third-party apps no web browser no anything like that you get on a modern device so this device is not really useful if, it, if it's going to be your main device so this iPod still holds up well today as in like you can still do everything on this iPod that you can do back then today just as well because this is not a smart device that's constantly getting updated constantly getting better constantly getting better features so that's the good thing about these older iPods is that you don't have to worry about them losing feature because if you look at like a first generation iPod Touch, you can't even browse the internet on that today anymore. Like it wouldn't even, it would like barely work. And then you can't really get any apps for them because it's very old now and all the apps require a new processor. So that would be one of the good thing about these old iPod is that whatever it could do back then, it could still do today. So do I think the iPod Classic is still worth it in 2017. I will say yes, if you are like a collector and you want to collect older iPods, or if you have like a big music library and you want to be able to load all your songs onto a single device, then this will be good for you. Although you should get the 160 gigabyte iPod because that one has the biggest amount of storage. However, I don't think it's really worth carrying around your smartphone and this iPod at the same time because it's kind of a hassle. So unless you really like need all your songs at the same time, I wouldn't say you should carry this around all the time with your smartphone. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video.